Hey guys, welcome back to Builds here today. We are on part seven of Let's Build a Villa and it has been a while once again. That is a surprise. But like I said, guys, we're going to take this thing a little bit slow paced, you know, just so we can get the best result out of this build. And hopefully you guys are all right with waiting uh, a little bit longer than usual for Let's Builds. But then yet again, the final result should be worth it, right? So what have I been doing to this build off camera work for the last past few days uh, is I have landscaped the whole thing. You know, I said how it looked a bit too two dimensional, too flat looking, and uh, I've made it look like a proper island. Now we've still got to do the base, you know, it kind of finishes there. So I'm going to find a way to make it go to the bottom of the seabed and just slowly slope through that that is going to take absolutely ages we've added some nice little features like we've got this little garden feature out here kind of like a little monument thing like garden feature you can walk up uh, you can sit down here and just admire the views it looks really cool uh, and then we've got a work in progress little uh, pathway here which is made out of this gravel and this just comes around this palm tree uh all the way up to here where we walk out of our kind of like you know we said indoor outdoor concert victory kind of thing and we've got an absolutely beautiful little uh garden feature by zaris hd you can check his youtube channel wow it is featured on my uh youtube featured channels uh as well something else that zaris did uh you know give me inspiration for was this amazing jet ski that he designed it looks absolutely fantastic uh, there is a tutorial on his channel on how to build this thing that I will link for you guys. So getting around even further, any more changes? Did I add anything more or nope? I think this was just the final landscaping because the landscaping guys, it took days and days and days because we had to use voxel snipes to landscape this whole thing. Then we had to, you know, fill in the water that that was a huge pain. Uh, and once we've done all of that, the build was ready for the next video, which you're viewing right now. So if we get over to the landscaping side of things, I'm going to tell you guys how to do this. Now, if you are on a server uh, or if you're good enough to become a builder on build server, you can send an application to aseriesgaming at gmail.com. You must display two builds uh, with four pictures of each build. So two interior shots, two exterior shots. Uh, with your Minecraft character presented in front of them. If you are good enough to become a builder on my server, you could come on and do this. Uh, you need to use a voxel snipes. Now you can go on the internet and find out how to use that. You've got to use various commands with a wooden shovel and you can place a variety of blocks in different kind of sphere shapes and then you can smoothen them out using this. But for most of you guys playing on single player worlds, or servers without this um, this mod enabled, this plugin, uh, what you're going to have to do is place it by hand. Now, I know this is going to be a huge pain in the ass, but it would definitely be worth it. And all I can really say for you guys doing this is um, if I just try and fly up, pause this, try and replicate it. The reason why I can really do something like this on camera is because it took hours upon hand which I'm sure you guys wouldn't really want to watch because it gets so damn boring. Uh, it was very frustrating and I had to make constant adjustments. Like I'd remake like a section like here, for example, then I'll go, nah, it doesn't look realistic enough or I don't like it. And I've still got future modifications planned like this area right here. I'm not too happy with needs a bit of further adjustment. Uh, but in general, I'm pretty happy with the island shape. Basically, what you're going to want to do is make the first section which the island will rest on, then kind of bring it down one block and then bring it down another one and keep layering. So keep bringing it down, 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 down until you hit the seabed. And some of you may be thinking, how the hell is sand floating on water? Now you can do this with using world edit and I'm sure server commands, but all I've done, which is a very legitimate way of doing this, is just disguise underneath I'm actually using some stone. The stone supports all these blocks on top and stops them from all falling into the sea, which would be an absolute pain. So guys, now landscaping is discussed. If you guys need any help with landscaping, please do drop a comment down below in the comment section and I will be more than happy to get around to you. We are going to discuss the pathway. So really guys, I'm just going to explain the exact formation of this pathway. We are going to make some more adjustments like I see that right there, yeah? 
adjust that. For example, it's going to take a few more adjustments. So if we come from this carpet section we have here, you come one block in, you're going to replace three, then three, then one, two, three, four, five. That is one weird Minecraft noise. Then you're going to replace three, three, come across one, place four, three, and hopefully, guys, the yellow squares around the blocks will help show you, you know, exactly how many you need if it does kind of get a bit confusing. And of course, you can always use the YouTube speed button to slow the video down to help you out a little bit more. So we're going to have three here, come up by one, three again, three again, three again. Then we're going to have three here. We're going to have from this block here, one, two, three, four. Keeping selected on this block right here, guys, you're going to come up one more and two, three, two, three, two, three, three, two, two, like that. And then this one is going to be coming out by one more. Then you're going to want to go across two, come across two, come across two, come across three, two. Then this one right here is going to be two, two, three, three, three. This is going to be four, then two, and then two, then three, then four, then three, then four, then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then we come to the huge long stretch, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blocks. If we come back now, you're going to want to uh, place. You're going to want to come across one, two, three, come in by one. And this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to leave an exception of gravel out here. Come across by two blocks inwards here. And then this is where we start our new line. So this is uh, positioned here. So if you come across from this block, one, one, two, three, you're on the block. Then you come across by one, two, three, four, five, six. Come up by one, one, two, three, come up by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you can just stop it at the quartz pillar here. From this section onwards, it's not really decided. So if we just follow this block all the way back to here, this one's going to be two. You come across by one, you come out one, two, three, four. Leave a gravel block here. Right from here, guys, you're going to come across by one, two, three, come across by one, come across by one. So hopefully, that was uh, followable, hopefully it was, and as we know there was a palm tree in the middle here. Another small little thing to point out that I have done is I've added a lot more dead leaves all over the place, dead bushes even, and what this does is it just creates that more kind of deserty, tropical island theme. Of course we're going to be doing a lot more due to the landscaping on the actual platform of the build, and some of that is going to be shown in today's episode. So now that has been covered, guys, you may be thinking, you know, what is this? Uh, this is like a small feature, you know, where you can come sit in here, uh, just relax and enjoy the beautiful views of the area. And it's just kind of like a nice little garden feature, I guess you could call it. And we're going to be adding some similar kind of things to this. We've got one over there by Zarius HD. And uh, actually, let's go explain that now. And basically adding these little parts of like garden, you know, greenery just helps bring out the build, makes it look a little bit less like yellow because, you know, the sand is kind of quite, uh, you know, in your face and bright. You want to kind of vary out, you know, bring out the green areas of this build. To explain this, guys, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go into absolute over detail on explaining how to do this, but I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do it in your own kind of way. So we're going to come to the very end block of this indoor outdoor conservatory design we have here. You're going to want to come up by two, then come across by one, two, three, four, five, come over one, cross here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, one. So you're going to want to section off that area. So as you may remember, before in the last part, we did build a little greenery area over here. It's been overhauled, slightly expanded, and made to look a lot nicer by Zarius. So what you're going to want to do is, around the place, you're going to want to dig out some areas too in depth. And you're going to want to place watery areas around here. You're then going to want to get yourself some sand, some stone, 
and a mixture of different plants like sugar canes would look fantastic, grass, tall grass, ferns, tall ferns, examples and lily pads to go over occasional small parts of the water. Then what you're going to want to do is scatter grass and sand blocks inside of the water like Zarius has done here which creates this kind of like landform going over this water feature right here. You're going to want to disguise some beacons nearer to the back of the build to the side which will provide a nice little amount of lighting at night time because of course you know when you're walking around this at night time and if you imagine just role playing it here you're going to be isolated from you know most places so you're going to want it to be pretty lit up because you're not going to have any nearby lamp posts you know <laughs> lighting up the whole place then we are just putting down some torches on some of the built up stone features inside here and you're going to want to put these at different levels of height just to kind of vary the whole lookout and just put some of these say three four torches on top of different sections which go up and this will once again help make the place look a little bit lighter and what do these replicate well if you know them garden lights you can get the solar panel kind of looking ones that's what they replicate as you can see now the sugar canes which can be placed on sand if it's surrounded by water will once again help resemble our tropical warm kind of theme because as you know sugar cane only grows in very hot countries then you know what would the place be without bushes Corrales was one of the people that actually taught me how to build modern and I will forever be using bushes in my builds as you can see they work absolutely beautifully here and just help liven up the whole place so guys that is how you do that now getting over to our little greenery feature over here I'm going to teach you guys how to make this so doesn't have to be block by block accuracy and I like that because some of you guys will have different builds with slightly different variations of materials sizes and blocks of course all of you are gonna have different landscaping unless when I flew up you pause the video and like an absolute boss man just copy it block by block by block if you can do that please tweet me at builds HD capital B for builds and capitals HD so you're going to want to create a circular like area if i actually come from this very block here and fly up so you guys know exactly the very block i'm talking about so the third block in from this side if you've copied me accurately you're going to want to get out some let's just clear our inventory here you're going to want to get out some never brick some sand some pressure plates some lily pads some grass blocks my grass blocks look amazing guys and if you want to do this please do download the builds server texture pack get out some large ferns and let's just say get out some tall grass so from this block here the very block we discuss you're going to place down sand diagonally you're going to want to put down some never brick sand sand oh this continues on to the other one sorry so you're going to want to go sand never brick sand never brick so it's kind of like a pattern you want to follow up through here and if i just walk around the actual structure guys remember you can slow the video down to show it a little bit slowly you're going to want to create a similar shape to this doesn't have to be block by block guys basically what you're going to be trying to do here is like i said it's going to be never brick sand never brick sand so it follows the same pattern if your never brick is red which is going to be a, for a lot of you guys that haven't downloaded my texture pack which is linked in the description for all of you that do want to download it you can just go ahead and get yourselves out some think like stone something like gray wall would work perfectly so in between here of course we have sand and what the pressure plate does is it separates the most part of the block of sand but just leaves kind of little lines of detail at the front back and sides of the block which just kind of seep through and give it this really nice look so once you've done that and you've surrounded this circular ish area it doesn't have to be a perfect circle in fact it would look a lot better if it wasn't then you can continue on detailing it dig a too deep hole at the bottom it should be sad and on the sides it should be never brick around the water feature you're going to want to fill this whole area up with water this one by one moat uh, you're just going to place occasionally say like every seven eight no, let's say every eight blocks of water place a lily pad 
and then in the center of all of this you're going to want to place some sand to form another circular kind of themed shape uh, put that in the middle and support it by some grass on top of the sand block then every other block you're going to want to place some green stained clay which gives it a very nice mowed lawn looking effect now on the outside of the shape if i just clear my inventory again you're going to want to get yourself some tall grass some tall ferns some normal grass some jungle leaves and that is that what you're going to want to do is on the very outer edge of the block you want to place a variety of ferns of grass of tall grass and that is going to be that sorry guys server restart there so now what you're going to want to do for the second layer is you're going to want to get yourselves out some jungle leaves and you're going to want to place the first layer of about one block in height and just kind of scatter that round like shown then the second layer in should be jungle leaves of a more organized order of two in height and just kind of keep that like this kind of sectioning it off as if it was kind of a wall now the inside should show grass block just plain grass block and of course that green stained clay to represent the kind of mowed lawn now lightly you're just going to put some grass down some tall grass and a few tall ferns and that is going to make it look kind of naturally landscaped to look pretty beautiful then you're going to want to place a fence around about here and a fence all the way at the back here and this is going to be this is going to have to be around about do we say like three four five six seven eight blocks in height with this one probably about nine or ten blocks in height so they have a different height and look a little bit more effective then at the top you're going to want to put a fence here then a fence here coming off the side a fence coming to the back and a fence coming to the right then we drop down another level you're going to want a fence coming towards you drop down another one a fence coming to the left so you can see it's kind of like that over here you're going to want to have one coming towards you on the outside one going to the left one going to the right then you're going to want to come down one more do we have any more oh that is it for that guys now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourselves out some uh, spruce leaves and i found these actually look fantastic and no one is seem to be using these and these look absolutely amazing they look so much lighter in flows hd which is where i got the leaves for on this pack because they are just amazing uh, they seem to be lighter more of a light green than the jungle leaves which people generally use or the oak leaves and I have scattered these round so they just they go in a kind of randomized spiral order as they slowly descend down to the bottom and they stop about two thirds of the way down which is exactly the same as this tree right here so now that has been covered guys what we are going to discuss is the room layouts of this whole house because they have been changed slightly and uh bottom floor is almost done the planning for this house is so so difficult because we have such a huge weirdly shaped area to work with so if i just f1 here this wall right here which is uh one block away from the window is uh one two three four five you gotta remember guys uh the materials consisting of these is smooth sandstone and normal sandstone just on the second block though you're then going to want to go diagonally one two three three blocks and then just continue two more just outwards i'm actually going to go ahead and get out some glowstone here hold it in my hand so you guys can see a little bit better you're then going to leave a full gap come out by two come out by one come out by one then come across by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and this is where you enter the indoor outdoor conservatory the inside here we have blocked off a few blocks and the inside just come in by two diagonally by one diagonally by one to a flat wall to one and then to the other wall and right here we're probably gonna have something like a big jukebox maybe maybe a tv i'm not entirely sure yet guys uh, that will all come to future planning coming across here two from this area right here we have a brand new wall which is one two three four five six wide and then if we just come over to here 
coming in from this wall right here one two three four five you now have a new wall which is just four in width and in here uh, I'm not quite sure we might have a games room maybe a table tennis table in there or something like that for the children of this house or maybe the adults you know I don't know but anyway guys that is part seven of let's build a villa I hope you've all enjoyed this house is looking absolutely amazing it's probably one of my very best creations and I can see huge potential in it we still have a very very long way to go with this house but guys hopefully you've been enjoying the series so far be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy today's video or you like the design of my build and please do drop a comment down below tell me what you think tell me if you need any help building this or if you have any further questions to ask go ahead and I'll be more than happy to reply to you thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video which should be out tomorrow on how to build a Comet or Porsche 911 from Grand Theft Auto 5. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.